hope you enjoyed that interview previously done by one Mr. Karanja Alex with a wonderful pencil artist. Right now we're moving on to our next one where we're going to be talking to a wonderful makeup artist. Before I introduce, I want to get, let you guys know that if you want to reach out to us, if you want to get her contact info, if you want to talk to us, ask us any questions, Marze, if you just want to say anything you want to say that's on your mind to this channel, we welcome you to do so and we encourage you to do so on those social media handles that you see at the bottom of the screen. And all you have to do is put hashtag Tuesday Entrepreneurship and hashtag why in the morning and then ask whatever I have to ask at Y254 channel on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I myself can be found in Joy underscore Machache on various platforms. Karibu Nizana once again. Our guest today goes by the name of Miss Mwahiki. And she's a makeup artist. She's been doing this for a few years and she's here to talk about her art. Yes. Hi everyone. Mm -hmm. Hi Joy. Hi. Thank you for having me on the show. Yes. My name is Cynthia Muihaki. Yes. And I am the CEO and founder of Crown by Makeup, okay. which is a beauty business. Okay. I also do commercial modeling. I do training. I do mentorship for young girls as well. And yeah, that's about it for now. Okay. So CEO and founder of crowned by makeup that is wonderful mm -hmm. and so when did you decide to open crowned by makeup um i actually well formed it in 2016 uh -huh. though it was under a different name then yeah i rebranded this year so took down all my social media pages and started afresh because wow. i had a a one-year sabbatical okay. where I just wanted to understand why I'm in the industry, why yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing, yeah. and for how long I want to do it, and mm. what I wanted to grow into. So yeah. that's how Crown by Makeup came about. How about the name Crown by Makeup? I like it. Yeah. So Crowned by Makeup. <laughs> thank Who you coined so much. the name Crown by Makeup? Um, I actually did. So what happened was um, during this break, I asked myself, you know, Cynthia, what is it that you do that is different? Why? Why? makeup you know yeah. of course there's a passion there's the feeling that people get once you transform their faces or just give them a boost you know with the products but for me I felt every woman wants to be a princess every woman wants to feel like a queen you yeah. know and we don't necessarily work with tiaras on our head or crowns you know of but course. we can get a beautiful outfit a nice pair of shoes a nice wig you know yeah. so for me I felt makeup is that final touch that you get to complete your look yes. and that's the crown that you wear without necessarily having to wear a tiara that's a crown that you wear yes. without having to wear a tiara yes. so you make ladies feel like queens and princesses yes. by crowning them with makeup exactly I do love that so this is a positive impact that you're putting on society yes that's very interesting mm -hmm. there's something that you said that you know yes it's a passion yes it's something that you love to do mm -hmm. but You've also touched a little bit on why you decided to do makeup, but mm -hmm. I want to go deeper into that. Why is it exactly that you chose to go into makeup to the point where mm -hmm. you opened your own company for makeup? Um, I'd say it started way back when I was younger. It sounds cliche, but you know, it's every okay. girl <laughs> likes to play around with her mom's makeup if yeah. your mom used to wear makeup. So that was me. And yeah. I thank God that she didn't take to take the makeup away from me saying oh you're going to spoil my things you know even if I would break something she would let me go ahead and just keep that and buy a new one and lock it up somewhere so that's where the passion began you know I love to see I love bright colors I love seeing how colors can blend together so as I grew older after high school I remember a cousin of mine asked me so what do you want to do the typical thing that most um, from four leavers would do is go do computer driving and ETC, you know, but for me, I said, no, that's not what I want to go do. I don't want to be like every other person. So I just began thinking, what is it that I actually like doing? And I realized that there were beauty colleges and, you know, hair makeup was a thing that I liked back in the day. Um, and the search continued. I didn't end up going to a beauty school, but I did meet an amazing lady who owns a training program right now. Okay. And yeah, she's called Makeup by Rose. She offered so it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And who do you look up to? Now that we've talked about b people building empires, mm -hmm. I can imagine that you're one of the ladies, I feel like you're ambitious, mm -hmm. who wants to build an empire. Yes. Who are, besides the people I've mentioned, who are some of the people you're looking up to in the makeup industry? Um, it's interesting that you ask that. So, of course, 
my journey up until this point has actually been greatly influenced by makeup artists who are found here in Kenya, starting by Rose, seeing how she has been doing this business, I think, for 10 years now. Yes. You know, started struggling. There were very few people in the market who were actually doing this thing, especially the trainings. Mm. So she really pushed me to keep going at it. Keep going at your dream. Don't give up and don't expect quick results. You okay. know, if you need to rebrand, do it. If you need to take time off, do it. So that's what I learned from Rose. Another lady is uh, Washuka Thimba. She was really vital in my journey because I met her once. And, you know, we shared makeup tips and she actually made me really rethink why I was doing what I was doing. That's yeah. why I took the break and I decided to really understand what value I'm adding to the market because there are so many makeup artists out here, but what makes them stick around 10 years plus, you know, 20 years plus? Um, I say I do mentorship for young women. So I, my, my best friend, she's called uh, Priscilla Andano, she has a college and she also does free workshops for ladies who may not be able to afford to go and pay for school. So she's offered me so many opportunities to go and speak and share my makeup knowledge and also mentor younger women. And for me, that has really boosted even my esteem to become a trainer. It has helped me to see the gaps that are in the market, you know, what the what the person even at the lowest hierarchy needs in terms of makeup. So I would say those three women I look up to because I've seen them diversify into the market and actually add value to other makeup artists, myself included. I see. Yes. And uh, right now, um, we're going to show some of the makeup work that you have done, some okay, of the great. art <laughs> that you have created upon yeah. people's faces, some <laughs> of the faces that you have crowned yes. with beauty, Starting as you have tried mine. to call it. <laughs> yes, and uh, we'd like to look at that. And then as they roll them up, we'll continue to talk. I mm -hmm. think this is such a great conversation so far. Maybe we mm -hmm. can just start talking about, is this a before and after? Yes, so that's before, and then this is after. So what's funny oh, is that... Oh, by the way, they ju they're just going to go. Okay, no And problem. so I don't think we're going to have too much time no about problem, it, but maybe no you can problem. just say one or two things. Yeah. They, yeah. So most of these, actually the first two, I didn't have all the makeup, so I had to really improvise uh -huh. on a lot. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really natural. She's like a real African woman. I feel like it gives that vibe. It does, it yeah. does for sure. It and that's my sure. logo, in case anyone is wondering. Yes, so yes. this is a Crowned by Makeup logo. Yes. Oh, I that love was a that bridal. eyeshadow. She has such a big hood. Yes. I wish I had I enjoy, I enjoy oh, such that. a small hood. I so can't much put space too much to eyeshadow. Play. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, so this was when I was working at MAC. Yeah. I remember she was going for her prom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She was going for a prom. Yes. Mm. I like this. Yeah. This right. was a birthday shoot. What about falsies? What, what, what would you yes. say about fal falsies? Falsies are what are short term for false eyelashes for yes. anyone who is interested. Personally, I love falsies. Mm. I never used to like them, yeah. mostly because one, I didn't know how to apply them. So that's also something else. Sometimes makeup artists don't like something because they don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, personally, Mascara and falsies were my worst because you do the makeup oh, then wait, before and after again. Yes, before and after. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you do the makeup, uh, finish everything. Then when you yeah. do the mascara, if it's not dry, the client opens their eyes, closes, and it messes everything up. So I used to really hate doing mascara, but later I learned how to do it in a way that doesn't ruin the look. Um, uh -huh. False lashes are amazing. They add so much. <laughs> to the false look. lashes. Yes. I don't know how to say. It. False <laughs> lashes are like. I know men don't understand the thing behind it. Yeah, why? They're just I like, why? Why do you have to put them? So I can do makeup. No, can yeah. not makeup. To What's the point of adding like eye eye eyelashes? <laughs> yes. But there's something they do. Personally, I don't know how to put them on, so I never put them on. Mm -hmm. And then I also like to. Re I also like to re to reserve them for a special event. Mm. Yeah, I like to keep them for something special because I think uh, being this my career, mm -hmm. it means I've got to kind of wear makeup every day. Yeah, and so. I can't be looking like this in events. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to reserve the falsies. Yeah. I'm gonna have to reserve the falsies for mm. events. So I'm looking a little bit vava voom yeah. as you say for those events. But can I tell you something about falsies? Mm. It's actually a shortcut to looking like you have a full face of makeup without actually applying any. Mm. So mm. 
you have a bare face just put on some false lashes and a gloss and it gives people the illusion that you've worn a full face of makeup that is true yet you haven't that is so true so that's a trick i would share that, that i do true. often because i don't do this every day <laughs> uh -huh. but i would do falsies daily asante sana yes. you know we have just a couple of minutes mm -hmm. um, before we have to go to our next interview and so i'm just gonna have to finish off by you know saying that one of the things i wish we could let our public maybe you can tell our people mm -hmm. some of the tips maybe one two tips are uh, do's and then one two don'ts mm -hmm. before we end this and also um i don't know makeup is something you come to love because when i first got this job mm -hmm. i was doing this job without makeup mm -hmm. if you're looking at me carefully i was not wearing makeup when i used to come here mm -hmm. Only, and I never knew how to put it on. Yeah. Only until about six months ago, I finally learned how to put on makeup, and I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. But here we are. Mm -hmm. And maybe some do's and some don'ts mm -hmm. for people, like, just like me, for mm -hmm. people who are watching and still learning. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. So, um, one do that I would give is always take care of your skin as much as we're talking yes. about makeup skin care is very very important make sure that your skin is always clean that it's toned that you exfoliate always use sunscreen and then from there you can do your whole makeup routine another do that i would say is no for what occasion and for what time that you are applying your makeup. Yeah. There's daytime makeup, there's nighttime makeup. It's not to say that you can't do bold makeup during the day, but always look at the context and the event. I would say don'ts is generally don't overdo it. Um, once you learn yes. why you're doing the makeup and what event it's for, just don't go ham. I know it can be so tempting sometimes, but less really is more, like the tip I've given on the false lashes. Um, another don't is, I would say, let me tailor make this to makeup artists. Be kind to your makeup artist. One thing people don't know is that if you're in a bad mood, if you are rude, if you are not kind, that person has power over your face. So the makeup will come out Ooh. according to the energy that you give out. So. Yeah, try That's and be kind. Don't irritate your makeup artist. Mm. Yeah. So your makeup will come out according to the energy. Yes, that I like you're that. giving. <laughs> mm. And so, you guys, unfortunately, we do have to close this down. This has been a wonderful discussion about makeup with the CEO of Crowned by Makeup, who is none other than none other than a female young entrepreneur who has come here to share some of the skills that she has learned down the road. I hope you guys picked up some some pens and some papers and took down, down some notes if you're interested in this. Her name is Cynthia Monique once again. Mine is Joy Mochache. If you want to talk to me, you can do so in Joy underscore Mochache. Our social media handles once again are down there at the bottom of the screen. And before we close this interview, I'd like to give our guest one chance to actually give her social media handles just in case there's somebody out there who's interested in having her do her having her do your makeup up okay so you can find me on instagram at crown by makeup on facebook check out my personal page cynthia muihaki and i have exciting news for august i have a bridal offer whereby for at least five bridesmaids 2500 for makeup the bride gets her makeup free so wow. you're all welcome and i hope to see you soon hmm. For so five bridesmaids, two thousand five hundred shillings each, for makeup yes. each, and then if that happens, the bride gets her makeup done for free. Yes, and the bride can go ham. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for that, uh, you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Once again, Karanja Alex is coming through, and I'll be next after him once again. This is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Do stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>